Good morning to the church. Reverend gentlemen and uh, members of the family, the Royal Bahamas Defense Force arrayed in their ceremonial whites, uh, my colleagues, uh, Dr. Higgs and Ms. Ferguson, and the general community of Fox Hill and family members who are gathered here this morning. Uh, it's a special honor for me to have been asked to say these few words of support uh, to the family on this sad occasion. It is always um, <clears throat> interesting to me to come to funerals in Fox Hill because having not been born or raised in Fox Hill, on each one of these occasions I get to understand the depth of the relationships between the people who live and inhabit this very special part of New Providence. As you know, all of us believe that you who live and grew up, live and grow up in Fox Hill are the special guardians of the heritage of our country. And all of us as a part of the public policy have done all that we can to ensure that that heritage is protected. And so every time someone who is from the village itself passes away, the concern always is that that heritage is passed on, is being passed on to the next generation. And I would say looking around this church, the church is full and the future of Fox Hill is assured. I'm pleased to be the member of parliament for the area and I've met some extraordinary people in my time. Your mother was a beautiful lady. And what touched me particularly reading the obituary this morning was something which occurred to me a long time ago when my own mother passed away in 1999. You know, you grow up going to the movies and you would get the impression that life is like a Hollywood movie. That you have these neat endings and these neat beginnings. But it doesn't work that way. A couple of days before my mother died, we were just sitting talking and she was sitting in her bed. And she was saying that she wanted to thank me for helping her during her illness and making it possible for her to have a comfortable life in her old age. And I thought nothing of it. I just said, well, you know, my, my privilege, my honor, really. And just as you said in your obituary, I never knew that that would be the last time that I would speak to her. The next day, because I usually went by early in the mornings, and I said, I'll go day after tomorrow. And then I got a call day after tomorrow saying she'd passed away and that was that. So the lesson in it is that we must take the time to live the time because you cannot speak for tomorrow. You cannot speak for tomorrow. And I want to say if you are to be judged by the conduct of your, your parents, then Warren, who I know best in the family, is an excellent example of that. Uh, a leader in the community, uh, someone who enjoys the support of the community across all spheres, Latterly, he has taken to managing the Fox Hill Community Center. Uh, he carries with him, of course, the training which he got from the Royal Bahamas Defense Force. And you spoke in the obituary about your mother and the attention that she paid to detail. And you can see that today, that obviously the family has picked up that lesson. And it's important that you embrace the legacy always of your parents. 
One of the things you will find now that your mother has passed away is that you become the defender of her reputation. She's no longer here to fight for herself. So in the years going forward, you are the one who you are the ones who are going to have to protect her life, her work, her legacy. And it comes at you, you may not think that that's an important thing, but it comes at you in all kinds of ways. And so embrace that opportunity. And embrace the opportunity by remembering all the things that she said, what she did, how she said things. I told you it's a long time ago since my mother passed away. But I still remember things that my father told me, things that my mother told me every day. And I'll leave you this final story. I, I say to people, you wouldn't believe it, but uh, even though I'm a politician, I'm a really introverted person by nature. And one of the things she did for me was she forced me to do things that I didn't want to do. And one of them I remember as a child is uh, going to parties with my friends. I don't want to go to no parties. But she said, you got to go. She's teaching the lesson of being sociable and being able to get along with people. So she puts me in the car. We go to my friend's party. And of course, I have a great time at the party. And now, when she's coming to pick me up, I've got to fix my face so that I didn't have a good time at the party at all. And so I get in the car, and she says, didn't you have a good time at the party? And I say, no. <laughs> but I did have a good time. But I remember that lesson. And mothers are especially close to sons. I know they love their daughters, but especially close to sons. And so you'll remember many things about her. And be happy that she imparted all of those things to you. And you are now, all of you, collectively, the protectors of her legacy. So thank you for a valued life. I hear amen in the back, so that means I got to sit down. <laughs> thank you for this opportunity for me. And on behalf of the Fox Hill constituency, the Progressive Liberal Party branch, the village in particular, and all of us who love and support your family, she goes to God with our kind support, blessings, and love. And may she rest in peace.